ambassador. Unfortunately, as all of you know, and uh, especially the residents of Hawaii, that COVID had led to very strong closure of uh, this island and also other parts of the United States. I also appreci greatly appreciate Rajkumar Ji's and the Gandhi Institute's efforts at organizing this beautiful function this morning and also the work which you are doing, including for education. As you rightly said, uh, Mahatma Gandhi's message is so clear, my life is my message. And one is also very happy that it resonates tens and thousands of miles away, away from his Karma Bhumi, very much in the United States and in Hawaii. As you pointed out, and I recall, in 2015, Hawaii became perhaps one of the first states to observe October 2nd as Mahatma Gandhi uh, Day. Interesting aspect is that Mahatma Gandhi never visited the United States, and yet his teachings have inspired many. In fact, you named a number of them. Uh, including President Obama, who was son of this particular state. You are all aware that Gandhiji himself was also inspired by many American thinkers, including Thoreau. His noble principles of truth, non-violence, sacrifice, mutual respect, compassion, cooperation, they have become even more so relevant in today's complicated world. You are witnessing conflicts, you are witnessing the challenge of climate change, terrorism, radicalism, pandemic, and now even the food crisis. That's why his philosophy and ideals are so relevant he is the anchor of the shared democratic values which United States and India share and inspire us to work together for what your council is doing essentially for peace, prosperity of not only our people but global good. As all of you are aware that Martin Luther King one of the tallest American leaders and his civil rights movement, they were deeply inspired by Mahatma Gandhi. In fact, Martin Luther King took a special visit to India and traveled around in India to essentially pay his homage and respect for Mahatma Gandhi. And interestingly, it was his good friend, Congressman John Lewis, who in 1998 spearheaded the resolution to set up a monument in Washington, D.C., which is very much across uh, the Indian embassy. Also later, just before he died in 2020, he was the author of what stands today as Gandhi King Scholarship. And as you are closely involved with education, this actually will be enabling many American scholars to go to India and stay there and study there. And not to take too much of your time this morning, 